In ancient Greece, feasting was not only an act of eating with others. Feasts had great symbolic, social, political, and religious importance, inserting guests into their community and the world as they saw it. Feasts defined political hierarchies, first by designing who is excluded from them, and then beyond defining status relationships and distributing material resources, Feasts in ancient Greece were also the backdrop for political strategy sessions. A feast in antiquity was not a proper feast without its complement of perfume. It was often more central than the food itself. Offering perfume to guests was as casual as offering tea. Half lying on day beds, usually with one bed and table per person, it was a place of sociability where the young educated themselves through contact with older generations. A master of ceremonies limited the consumption of drink, drawn from a large crater containing a mixture of wine, water, and various herbs. The strongly diluted wine facilitated the circulation of speech without causing intoxication. These discussions could last all night, for a successful dinner party in ancient Greece, an offering of wine, honey, or milk was given to the divinity associated with the celebration. The offering also required the fragrance of fresh flowers, perfumed unguents, and incense. The flowers were often strewn on the floor of the room as well as upon anything that fell on the ground. The underground was considered the world of the dead. This world was respected and thus whatever fell to the ground was not to be picked up as it was considered to be for the dead. At a luxurious feast, the floor might have been covered thickly with different blossoms resembling a meadow. To prepare the feast, the tables were rubbed with mint leaves. The diners then were adorned with fragrant garlands the garlands were made of many different kinds of flowers or leaves, such as roses, violets, hyacinths, apple blossoms, thyme, rosemary, myrtle, bay, and parsley. Worn around the head as a crown, they were supposed to alleviate the effects of drinking, and worn on the breast, they were said to enliven the heart. Perfumes were added to the garlands to make them even more odorous. Scented water would be offered to the guests in between courses for washing their sticky hands as most foods were eaten with the fingers. The diners would then be further scented with perfumed unguents brought to them in alabaster boxes.